Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Valentine Lister, and this is my series on the Minor Arcana for the Suit of Pentacles. And today we're gonna be covering the Queen of Pentacles. So we're gonna get into everything you need to know about this card, including which cards rule this Minor Arcana card, the astrology of the card, which is tied into the rulers of the card. Um, we're gonna go into the secret symbolism, of the card, um, including numerology, as well as learning the upright and the reverse meanings. So you're going to get to know this card really well so you don't confuse it with the other cards. They don't like just like fuse into one another. Um, you really understand it. So when you pull it, you know what's happening, you know what's going on. And just a quick intro, uh, if you don't know me, my name again is Valentine Lister. I'm a professional astrologer and tarot card reader. Um, and on this YouTube channel, I love to share about astrology, tarot, I do some forecasting every week. I do a weekly forecast. Um, and I also do for, uh, also as well videos on spirituality, like spiritual practices that I use that I really love that I think you guys need to know about. Um, if you want to get to know what want to know a little bit more about me, you can go to my website, valentinelister.com. All right, so without further ado, let's get into this card. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles, give her a little nickname, and I like to call her the Earth Mama. Okay, so I'm going to get into who this queen is all about. So we're going to get into the rulers of the card, the astrology. So with all of the court cards except for the page, um, they're associated with three different astrological decans connected to three different minor arcana cards. And it tells her story. It's super fun. Um, helps it really click. So the Queen of Pentacles is associated with the last decan of Sagittarius, which is the Ten of Wands. The second decan or second um, decan of, wait, ah, I'm messing this up. So the first decan of Capricorn, um, which is the Two of Pentacles. And then we have the second decan of Capricorn, which is the three of pentacles. So gets pretty complicated when we get to the court cards, like what court, what cards rule it. So I have that all written down for you in a uh, tower and astrology cheat sheet. That's a PDF document, has all of the tower and astrology associations that I've told you guys about. Um, and I have a link for that in the description box below. All right, let's look into this Queen of Pentacles. So again, like I said, these cards tell um, the past, present, and future story of the Queen of Pentacles. And once you know this, like the Queen is really going to click as a person that, you know, like you can actually identify like separate from the other court cards. Otherwise, they kind of all, all blend into each other. All right, so in the past, um, in the past, the Queen was very very independent and had a ten tendency to take on too much. She had this like, I can do it myself attitude to her. And she was a self starter. And if she had the inspiration to do something, she'd just go out and do it. She was strong in her beliefs and lived life according to her personal values. And she has a lot of wisdom or and, and she had a lot of wisdom, right? But could be a bit of a loner. Um, and she had a really quick temper at times. However, it passed pretty much as quickly as it started. All right, so in the present, the queen is still working really, really, really hard and it's working out for her. She's making a lot of money. She's fertile and abundant. She's definitely more materialistic than she used to be. She's not care about things, but now she's working hard like to have things, have the finer things in life. Um, or just to even have things like prepared for. And like she does what needs what she needs to do in order to get, you know, what she wants. And she loves the world. She loves life. She loves working hard and playing hard. Um, and to point out some symbolism since we're in the present right now, the card, um, she has this like goat head here. There's goat head symbolism and this bunny. And so that shows that she's super fertile, fertile like fertility it represents. Um, and her garment is one that like a pregnant woman might wear. And she makes everything in the material world grow, like money and abundance. And she's grounded and practical right now. She takes care of things. Um, and though her desire like can be a little bit insatiable. So um, we can see on her chair, we have like Cupid here and 
she's also like covered in red and there's these red roses of desire. And so like we see that she's full of desire and full of like, I want this. And on her crown, like trying to figure out these symbols, these are most likely representing the North Node of the moon, like the North Node symbol and potentially a dragon here. And so that represents this insatiable hunger for like material abundance, like material wealth or success, right? So she's living a life of worldly success. And because of that, may have a bit of a dark side that a lot of people don't notice. And then in the future, we can see that the queen will be more open to collaborating with people. Like she used to be super independent, but here she's going to, yeah, she's going to work with other people and get some help. Um, she's finally realized that she will be more successful if she like networks and collaborates with people and she can't just keep, she's going to burn out right, if she keeps doing it on her own. Um, so she's more social, but it's for a purpose and she'll establish, establish a business and a legacy or material wealth or success that will last for a very long time. And she'll establish a life where she's powerful, influential, and in charge. She doesn't look intimidating at all, but trust me, she's not one you want to mess with. Okay, so the upright meaning of this card. So you want to read this card as a person. And so generally, this will be like a mature adult woman or feminine energy. So she's grounded, practical, and independent. She knows how to take care of things, whether it be money, home, children, spouse, or business. Um, if you want to succeed in life on a material level, she knows how to show you. She knows how to work hard and how to play hard. However, what she really likes to do uh, for pleasure is kept private from others. She has a very secret side. She knows how to have good time with the people that she really trusts. All right, so the reversed meaning of this card. So if this card comes out reversed, it means that this person's energy is being blocked or avoided. Um, so they're not feeling like themselves. And so this person's efforts to be abundant with like money, love, home, or children is being blocked. She can't make things grow and she's probably pissed. She's probably cranky. Um, you know, like she's she likes to keep busy. She likes to do things and she can't do things. She's she's like she's going to be a little miserable. Um, so it's also possible that you might be fighting with this person or like one or both of you cut off communication. Um, or if your relationship is okay with this person, um, they might not feel like themselves and they might need extra support. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Queen of Pentacles. And this is just a quick reminder that if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified for whenever I release a new video. Also, make sure that if you found value in this video, you really liked it, thought it was really good, make sure to share it out to other people um, so they like learn about, they can learn about this tarot card and like the awesome things about it. Okay, and if you want to catch up on the videos that I've already done for this series, I'm going to put a playlist right here. The Pentacles are my last videos on the cards, so I've covered most of them. And um, also I'll put a video up here that I think you guys will like. All right, love you guys so much. Take care, bye.